let's talk about how to change the colors on your Squarespace website. So I'm starting here with the Stanton template on Squarespace 7.1. Doesn't matter if you're in Classic Editor or Fluid Engine, if you don't know what those mean, it doesn't matter because I'm going to show you how to update your color palette. It works the same on both. And I'm going to show you a few different ways to do that. So doesn't matter where you are on your website, on any page that you're on, if you go to the upper left of that page and click Edit, that causes this little paintbrush in the upper right to appear. And if you click that, it's going to take you into Site Styles. And one of those Site Styles is Colors. Squarespace gives us five colors to work with. We have what they call Lightest, that's this guy. It's usually white or off-white. Light. That's typically a light brand color. Bright, that's this one. That's typically an accent color. Dark, that's a dark brand color. And then darkest, which is typically black or off black. So if you want to edit these colors, you start by clicking Edit Palette. It's going to start off, you would think it might start off here. It's actually going to start off on your accent color here in the middle. If you already have brand hex codes, you can just go ahead and enter those in. There are also options for RGB and HSL, but if you work in web design or you're working with a graphic designer or a brand designer, you probably have hex codes to add here. So you could do that. You click on one of these, change this to hex and then type in your hex code. So I can make this, you know, F2, 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 and it's a light gray now instead of white. Or you can drag and drop the picker here, and I put it back to white. So you could do that for your color palette. Another option is Squarespace has some pre-made color palettes here for you. So you could click one of those. And when you click it, it's gonna update your whole site with that color palette. Maybe that's not the best one. That one's kind of dull. This one looks interesting. Yeah, interesting. You can see what it did here. So that's another option. Now there's also the option to upload an image. So if you, um, if you have an image on your desktop that you feel is a good representative image of your brand, then you can add that and Squarespace will automatically pull colors from that image for you and update your site. And also what you can do is for any color that you're using here, and I think it bases this on the accent color, you can choose a different tertiary scheme. So it could be analogous, complementary, analogous, monochrome, and you can see it changes it here. I actually kind of like this one. So if you're happy, you can stop there and then you just go to done and save and you've updated your palette. I actually really like this one. So if you're not thrilled with it or if you want to do a little more digging, I recommend doing some exploration on Pinterest. So I just went to Pinterest and I typed in website color palette. And what you'll find here is tons of inspiration. And you can see, apparently, I have colors that I like, and Pinterest knows that because it's showing me like these really lovely color schemes. And oftentimes, these will have hex codes on them that you can use. Now, if they don't have hex codes, or if you're on another site and you really want to see what colors they're using to inspire you, I use this little eyedropper tool. And it's a Chrome extension that you add to your Chrome browser. And what happens is if I click this tool and click pick color from web page and I click to choose this light peach, if I go back up to my color picker, it gives me the hex code. So I could just copy that and go back into my color palette and just add it right in here. So this would be the light. And I could make that, it's really similar to what we started with actually. So I will drop a link below to the color picker tool if you think that would be fun. I have a blog post about Chrome extensions, so I'll drop that below and you can look for this tool, it's called eyedropper. Another option 
is a tool called Coolers, and I'll put a link to that below as well. So this is a really fun way to generate colors randomly. So you can just start the generator here. And let's say I really like this color, but I don't love any of the rest. I can lock this one and then hit spacebar and it will generate other colors for me. So let's say I like this as my light. I like this as my dark. I like this as my darkest. Let's keep going. Let's find an accent color. Um, and if I saw one a second ago, I can go back to it. So let's lock this one in and let's just type in white, which is all F's here. And now we have our color palette. So this would be our lightest light. And I guess I could reverse the order of these accent, dark and darkest. So you can definitely play around with this. One of the things I like about it is that in addition to generating color palettes really quickly, you can also click on this, um, on any of these, this little grid, and that's going to show you different tints of the same color. So you can go lighter and darker. So maybe for this one, I want to go even lighter for my light color and I want to make that a light gray. Maybe for this one, I want to go a little brighter for my accent color. And maybe for this one, I want to go a hair darker. So you can play around with this and adjust those up and down. And then when you have the ones you like, you can just lock them in place with a lock. And then again, you can just click this to copy that hex code and then paste it back in your palette editor here. So creating a color palette is a lot of fun. It's really more branding than web design, but I wanted to show you how to update the color palette of your Squarespace website to best reflect your brand. Now, once you have your color palette completed, you can actually make significant changes inside each of these themes. So on your Squarespace website, for every section, and again, let me just ref let me save and refresh this so we can get to our sections. Save. There we go. So when you're editing a page, as you roll down, you'll see that the page is made up of sections. So this is three, four, five sections um, in your header and footer. So for any section, if you click the pencil icon, you have the ability to change the color of that section. So let's go bright too. That seems kind of crazy, huh? Let's go, just make it white. And if we go done and save. So we've taken it from light to lightest. And there are different options within each of those. If I go to colors here, within light, uh, within lightest, there's lightest one and lightest two. So let me show you what the differences there would be. You know, unfortunately, you can't make changes here when you're in site styles, um, so you have to close that out. So we've got a lightest two, so it's making the text blue instead of black. So you can see what the changes are just by kind of scrolling through here. Now, one thing that's pretty cool is you can make granular changes to each of those themes. So if I edit, go back into my site styles, go to colors, and I decide that for light one, I really want to make my buttons a different color instead of the blue. What you can do is scroll down until you find your buttons here and change the color, or you can click the element here and most of the time that will pull it up here for you. So you can choose a different color from your palette. I can make it the dark green, or you can make it a custom color, whatever you want here. And you can do that for any element listed here, and there are a ton, so I'm not gonna go through them all, but if you want to update a color for your theme, this is the place to do it. Now, in addition to being able to update colors here, there is one other place that Squarespace now lets us update them. I forgot to get out of site styles. Let me go over here. So when you're in a text block, you can often, um, most text blocks do this. Sometimes they don't, depending on like if they're inside an accordion or things like that. But for most just basic text blocks, you can change the color of a word. So you would just highlight it and then in your text toolbar, it's gonna give you the option of changing the color to something in your palette or to something custom. 
So you can change that as well. So lots of options with being able to really get specific on the colors that you want for your website and where you want each one used. One thing to be careful of, I think, is um, mixing in too many colors that aren't in your palette. So there really are just kind of three palette colors aside from the lightest and darkest. That gives you a little room to play. You can definitely bring in a fourth color and a, a fun way to do that is to use one of these extra themes. So like, let's say we're not really gonna use light too much. We can go in here and we can say, we want section background for light too. We want it to be something entirely different. So we want it to be, let's make it a light green. So now when we make our section light two here on this page, it will have a light green background that's not in our palette. But I would say just be cautious of how often you're introducing extra colors. Three is great, four is good, at some point it gets to be a little um, a little much for the simplicity of a Squarespace website. So just be judicious with the colors that you're choo choosing. Like clearly I don't love this. It's a little hard to read for accessibility. So think about that too. When there's text on top of a background, we wanna make sure the text is really easy on the eye. It's super easy to read. Um, accessibility is a ranking factor for SEO, so we definitely want to take that into consideration and to be kind to our site visitors. So again, there's lots to think about with colors for your website, but the color palette in Squarespace is really fun to use, and I hope that you have a great time choosing colors for your website and getting them implemented.